What's up guys, Handish here, and today we have a big old massive weekly reset in Destiny 2, and we've got loads of new Season of Undying and Shadowkeep content popping off this week. So firstly, of course, today is the launch of the Leviathan's Breath Quest in the game. We'll get started on that before hopping over to our other weekly content. We also have the launch of Master Nightmare Hunts. That'll be some nice new challenging content in the game. But then we do have a new week on the moon rotation of content, Eris's weekly quests, new powerful rewards, and we'll check out the activities, vendors, and pretty much everything else you'll need to know for Destiny 2 this week. So guys, buckle up as we get into a juicy content refresh in this video. The first thing to talk about, of course, would be the launch of the exotic quest for Leviathan's Breath. This is the new heavy bow, and you will need to visit Banshee to start the quest in the tower. There are a few steps to this quest, but it doesn't look overly insane or anything like that, so I'll be keeping you posted on this one with a full quest guide coming shortly. Up next, we have Eris's new weekly stuff, so she's got the weekly quest here. And once again, we'll be dispelling one of her nightmares on Luna. So that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to the conclusion of that next week. And she'll have all of her daily and weekly bounties in the inventory as always. The main new activity content for the moon this week, of course, would be the new nightmare hunt. So uh, we've got the insanity nightmare hunt right there. Despair featured up here. And then we've got fear. So uh, some uh, different ones to choose from. But of course, master difficulty is now available in the game. So if we take a quick look. We've got a whole bunch of modifiers, and these are going to be pretty solid. So, uh, Fire Pit is one that we can see right there. When defeated, Acolytes spawn Fire Pools that cause damage over time. Champions Unstoppable, as well as Barrier. Then we've got Chaff, where Radar is disabled. Uh, Champions Mob. Uh, equipment Locked, of course. Match Game. And then the Torment of Crotas. So, uh, sounds like it's going to be an absolute blast. Uh, Pinnacle Gear is now appearing for Nightmare Hunts completed. So, uh... Complete a Nightmare Hunt on Master Difficulty, and that indeed is going to drop us Pinnacle Gear, so definitely good to see that. And of course you get the other powerful gear uh, by doing three every single week, so uh, new Pinnacle Gear drops, definitely cool. But of course that stuff's going to be pretty solid, jumping in at 980 power, so uh, let us know if you're going to be diving in there in the comment section. For our powerful gear on the Director though, of course challenges have refreshed, so we've got Tower Vendor stuff where you complete bounties, all that good stuff. Uh, Eris is Powerfuls, as well as Vex Offensive, and the Vex Invasion Overlord kills, so quite a few different powerful drops, as well as the Nightmare Hunts on the moon right there. Flashpoint for this week is going to be over in the European Dead Zone, so that's another powerful drop. And then of course we've got Heroics, Ordeals, Crucible, Gambit, and all of the raid stuff that you can do, so lots of powerful drops for sure. The Ordeal is listed for the uh, Pacific Arcology right there, so that's on Titan, and I believe that'll be Savathun's Song, so uh, have fun. But then of course we have the Standard Nightfalls, so we've got a Garden World. And of course in this strike you can get the Universal Wave Function Ship, the Pyramidian, where you can get the Silicon Neuroma, and then we've got the Corrupted Strike, and here you can get the Horrors Least Pulse Rifle. Of course any of those Nightfall drops are completely random when you complete that strike. For Heroic modifiers right now though, we've got Solar Singe, Grounded, and then Brawler up today. Now though, let's take a look at the Eververse store for this week. And of course we do have the Leviathan's Breath ornament right there. This will be a silver purchase, uh, it's called Bad Dog. Let's take a quick look at it right here. We get these, of course, whenever we get exotic quests and things like that, so pretty cool if you want to check it out. Of course, we've got other items that you can pick up for silver in the store right here, but featured for Bright Dust on the front page, we've got the Mind Jack Projection right there. We've also got the Blood Runner Sparrow, which is a pretty cool kind of Scarlet-themed Sparrow, if it'll actually load. It doesn't want to load for some reason. You can kind of see it up here. You know what it looks like, man. Uh, we've got a couple of shaders, transmat effects, things like that as well. And as we scroll down to the main Bright Dust section, we've got a new ornament, so the Fire Team Up, or the Fire Team Fire Up ornament. And we've got Blood Runner again, right there, interestingly. The uh, Lunar Shell, and then we've got some uh, slightly older stuff, the Pitfall Sota E5D, probably saying that wrong. Salt the Fields, which is an ornament for Pillager. We've got the Gauntlets for the Titan class right here. I believe we get Gauntlets for all classes on the same week. Let me know if that's your experience down below. And then we've got the Daring Hat Projection, as well as some other Transmat effects, shaders, and things like that. That one looks pretty cool, the Shrieker one. So uh, yeah, check these out in the store if you want. Hawthorne doesn't have any new raid challenges up just yet, but of course we've got a selection of challenges for the older raids, and be sure to pick up your clan bounties so you can get some extra powerful drops and stuff like that. Of course, Akora is still directing the Vex Offensive, and we can see just a little bit of progress on the portal down here this week. So uh, soon we'll be heading through to uh, smash that undying mind. The other quick shout, of course, would be to visit all of the tower vendors, especially Zavala, Shax, and the Gunsmith, 
Because of course we'll be playing through quite a bit of content this week, and we do need to get those bounties done for both powerful drops, but also, a lot of folks are still asking about bright dust drops in the game, and specifically, how you can get it. And for that, pay attention to some of the weekly bounties you can get from vendors, as this is where you'll get bright dust dropped, and pretty much I think that is the only source in the game. So definitely try and be slightly sparing with your bright dust when possible at the moment, as those reserves will work their way down. Of course, we do have Menagerie, and we've got Solar Singe, as well as Grounded and Brawler for the modifiers today, and then the Heroic version has Extinguish, Match Game, Attrition, and Arc Singe. If you happen to be jumping into Reckoning, though, we've got Void Singe and Heavyweight up to day, so uh, that should be a pretty fun combination. For the Escalation Protocol this week, the boss is Kathok the Roar of Zol, so if you're hunting the Escalation Protocol SMG, you can randomly get that one dropped when you take the boss down. But then for the Dreaming City, we are on week two of the curse, of course, the Shattered Throne dungeon is available permanently on the map, but for this week's Ascendant Challenge, we do have the Sumerian Garrison, which is accessed via the Chamber of Starlight. As always, if you do want the location and a guide for the Corrupted Eggs and the Collectibles inside of that challenge, I will run it at the end of the video. But otherwise, for this week, I'll keep you posted on all of the new content, that exotic quest and any other things that pop up. So, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, a rating is really appreciated down below. Thank you so much for all of the recent support you've shown on the channel. Next week is definitely going to be a pretty busy one because we've got the dungeon, the Xenophage quest, the new PvP mode, and Festival of the Lost kicking off, so I guess it's almost the second wave of Shadowkeep content rolling out, and that's going to be pretty cool. Also in the update that brings all of that content next week, we are seeing some of the sandbox changes Bungie spoke about last week, like the Bottom Tree Striker, which is finally seeing a nerf, as well as the Bottom Path for Dawnblade. Then we've got things like bug fixes, they're fixing the one-two punch shoulder charge capability in the game, and they say they've got their eye on things like One-Eyed Mask for the future updates that we'll see in seasons beyond this one. Especially considering the next season will drop early in December, we've got quite a lot of stuff to look forward to in the fairly immediate future. And so if you are new around here, get subscribed so I can keep you up to date with everything related to the game. But otherwise, thank you as always for tuning in, and whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.